Are you nervous? You're the one who suggested this. I'm not nervous. I'm just... I'm just kind of, you know... Do you know how long it took me to write this? I don't even like to write. You can't back out. It's not that. I'm just... I'm anxious. It's We're not I... gonna miss our flight. Okay. 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 I'm ready. Ladies first. No, you go first. Don't be a chicken. Whatever, as long as I'm not going first. Fine. Shall I proceed? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> your face right now. I'm you see it. Okay. Can you be serious? I'm in the zone right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> ah, serious face, stay day. Serious face. Dear Dede, as you know, I suck at writing. And not just that, it's hard to articulate in words how my life the past one year has been with you in it. But I'll try. I never thought I'd get married. And so early? I mean, look at the world. So much hate. Marriage is around me, crumbling at the slightest glitch. And then you came along, and somehow, this wall I'd built so tall and strong for so long came crumbling down. Every woman before you had hit their backs against the same wall. You were the one. <laughs> I remember on the first date, I couldn't afford to take you to a proper restaurant. And so I, I took you to Sam's parents' garden and bought you some ice cream that we both shared anyway. Couldn't afford to. But you never looked down on me. Not then, not now. Loving without walls. That's the greatest freedom that you've given me. How do people get to the point of hurting people they claim to love? Maybe that's all it is, just a claim. Because with you, love has no boundaries, no breadth or height. Loving you is the purest thing I've felt. Dele, on this day, I promise you, with God by my side, that I'll make a constant decision to love you, protect you, protect us, multiply our wealth. I promise to be a great dad. <laughs> I've never been there before, so you're gonna have to cut me some slack, okay? I promise to wipe your tears, laugh with you, Apologize for my wrong. I promise to never dim the spark in your eyes. I promise never to take your love for granted. And most importantly, I promise to remain your best friend in its rawest and truest form for the rest of our lives. Happy first year anniversary, Dede. I'm happy. I'm the man that gets to say this. With you. Love, Tommy. <laughs> it's been my greatest blessing being married to a real man. A man not afraid to express love. A man whose shoulders are broad enough for his own family, for me and others. 
a man who works so hard to provide for us all. My dream man. <laughs> I only watched your type in hopeless romantic movies. Maybe I'm just a hopeless romantic that got served. You groomed me into a better woman. You taught me how to love, how to give, and how to live. You inspire me, and with you by my side, see, I'm flying. I remember saying I do with so much panic in my heart, wondering if we would even make it past the first year. We had our moments. <laughs> I've thought of killing you a couple times, FYI. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> With you, I laugh from the heart. I want to watch movies with no one else. I love the way you look at me. I love the way you protect me. I look at myself through your eyes and I can't even recognize me. You are my soulmate. T, I don't know what the future holds, but the one thing I do know is that I'm going to fight. I'll fight for you, fight for us, fight for what we've built. I won't stop fighting. <laughs> and I hope you won't too. I cannot wait to bore our kids and grandkids with our love and adventure stories. You are a masterpiece crafted for me. And I intend to cherish it for the rest of my life. We made it. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Your day day. This is us, young, clueless, imperfect, in love. We're in this together, and we're gonna fight, and we're gonna win. So we first met in high school and I don't remember when we met. I never spoke to you once. Yeah, but I knew you in... She meant, meant, like, she meant, met. Like, when did we meet? They're gonna have this a lot. <laughs> yes, we first met in high school. I never spoke to you once in high school. Did you speak but, to me once But you school? knew me. I didn't, I knew, like, you know oh a bunch of people gosh. in high school. Oh my gosh. Okay, so scrap this whole Let's thing. Let's scrap this entire time. Met you at Aladaki's house, a friend of ours' house on his, um... Yeah, summer barbecue. Like, uh, summer barbecue thing <clears> and went for there. <throat> and that's when we met. Do you agree? No, but okay, fine. <laughs> we met in school. Um, it was a service, like a church service, and it took opening prayer. I was in 100 level. He was in 200. 
Although, I didn't know at that time. And then he took the prayer and I, and I was like, ah, he's a short kid pastor that can pray very well. She was shorter. Just You've so. grown because he has grown. He was always, much shorter than this when I first met shorter, him. So. Just say. <laughs> I was 24. You're yeah, not 24. It I'm was 24. one month to being 25. Is that 24? How old was I? It was going to be 25. We got married in November. How old was I? 24 and <laughs> 11 months. Uh -uh. We got 20, married. 24 and 11 months. <laughs> How old were you? I was already 23 because... Small girl. Ah. I was 26. Going 27. Going 27 that year. She was... I was 25. 25. We actually wanted to get married in 20... I was 23. And her parents weren't having... <laughs> and I was 21. She was 21. They just felt we were too young. We weren't, they felt we weren't ready, not even about age. Yeah, we weren't so ready. They were just like, nah, no. Oh yeah, I'm so glad we waited actually. I'm happy we waited. Honestly speaking, I, I can't think of any. But maybe it did cross my mind once or twice, like financial pressure, like, um, I want to be a provider. I have a wife that is very content, you know, but at the same time, I wanted to make sure that she was comfortable and then when children begin to come in, but I wouldn't really say it was as intense as uh, maybe a phobia or something, but it did cross my mind. I grew up in a very good home, so I didn't really have a bad idea of what marriage was supposed to be like. So I wasn't really afraid of marriage as it were. So I didn't really have any major phobia. Hope that's still interesting. <laughs> For me, it was... Living, the phrase I just kept me, oh my God, I'm going to be living with a boy permanently, like <laughs> what? It was the fear of, I didn't really have a fear because, I mean, he felt like my best friend, but it was just daily interacting with a boy permanently in your space all the time. And I, I guess I didn't really have any fear outside of that. It was just not the apprehension of not knowing what to expect. That's, yeah, that was it for me. But yeah, it was, it was cool. I didn't really have any phobias in terms of. Yeah, you were just excited to get married. Excited to get married. I mean, <laughs> okay. The first year, <laughs> we were. Um, it was great. We were living alone, having loads of fun, all kinds of sex. Like it was just, just living la vida loca. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, <laughs> years later, maybe like in our fourth year or so. She told me that there were times when she would go into the bathroom and she would cry. <laughs> you were making this all way by Like, this, <laughs> this guy likes sex too much. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, thought, she thought I had a problem <laughs> because I wanted sex every single day. Now, I told her, I told her... TMI, but yeah, go on. <laughs> I told her when we were dating that, look, like, I'm going to have sex every single day. Yeah, because we weren't having sex before. We weren't having sex before that. So she goes, yeah, of course. I said, like, more every single day. And she was like, yeah, sure. So she said, I mean, this is four years after marriage. She told me that back then she was like, she didn't think I meant every, every single day. And I said, no, I meant literally every single day. There's no, no other way to say it. Now, of course, as we got married years on, we found a balance and also because you're just getting to, you're, you're getting to know this person in a more intimate way. You're living with this person 24 seven. So there's, there's so elements to it. There's so many elements to it. And I think, I didn't cry. I didn't go, I didn't cry a lot. It was just one time that I was like, I, I thought maybe a couple of months down the line, he, he, he would temper down, no, no, but no. it just didn't happen. <laughs> Intense in a good way, cause First of all, we waited until marriage before all, you know. <laughs> so there was that, you could express yourself. Um, but we were also just getting to really know each other. Of course, we had dated for about three and a half years, but you only really get to know that person to a certain extent when you guys are already married. And mm -hmm. so there was a lot of culture shock because this is not just my boyfriend that's trying to, this is now my husband. And so there was that adjustment period. I think we're even still adjusting in a lot of ways. Yeah, but I yeah. think that first year is a major well, yeah. adjustment period. And then he too, I'm sure he also experienced some sort of shock because like, ha -ha, who is this person? But I think, I think generally, 
I know I made the right decision marrying him. So it wasn't as bad, but it was a learning curve, more or less. Getting to know and understand each other, and it still is. So I think that first year was full of stuff like that. Understanding her thought processes, how, how she assimilates information, how to respond. Mm. So I tried many things. <laughs> when we entered, we knew this is going to be for life. Mm -hmm. So when there's an issue, it's not can we solve it, it's mm -hmm. how can we mm -hmm. get past mm -hmm. it because you are not going anywhere. Me, I'm not going anywhere. No matter how angry we made each other, none of us have said, I'm going to pack my things and leave because we know mm -hmm. what I need for life. Mm -hmm. My advice to you, if that can come in form of a lesson, is make sure you date intelligently. Mm -hmm. I also feel that dating is a time for you to love intelligently. Marriage is a time to love blindly. Mm -hmm. When you marry someone, you're going to see them at their angriest, mm -hmm. maybe at their poorest, at their worst generally. And so you must choose somebody who you know that even in the darkest hours, this person is still going to be my best. Um. Even when you don't feel any emotions, you have to let logic, let truth, you know, lead you past those phases. I mean, real intimate love, like living with a person permanently, is about forgiveness yeah. and acceptance. Not about the fuzzy stuff. The fuzzy stuff is great. That's what makes you able to swallow a lot of the stuff that comes in your way. I would say, forg I would say forgiveness too. I think. There's a mouse. Why? Fries and mouse. Like, that's why I went first. I... <laughs> okay, so I would say partnership. One of the, my biggest peeves was that he wasn't like me in terms of tidiness. Then I now realize, okay, so I, I have a strength in this area and it's kind of a weakness for him. And I didn't have to complain about it so much. I should just do what I can do because I, I have strength in this area. And I found that over the years, actually, he has actually now gotten better with tidying. He, like, without, he, he would. So we, we've kind of fed off each other with our strengths and weaknesses. So where I've been, where I have strength, he's gotten better. And where he's had strength, I've kind of learned from him as well. So yeah, partnership, it works. Okay, so Mo, mm -hmm. very grateful for you. Um, Thank you for being there to balance me and my excesses, for improving me in every way possible. Um, I can't think of a better mother for my children. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, just thank you for always being there for me, like friends have come and gone. Supporters have come and gone, but you've stuck by me, and I'm grateful to you for that. Another ten decades to go, <laughs> and I'm just grateful to you for being there for me. Thank you. Oh, I love you. Um, I'm very grateful God interrupted my plans with you oh, ten years ago. Actually, ten years ago, yeah. Uh, it's been a journey, and I'm very glad that you're the one I've been doing it with. Thank you for being you for being the amazing husband that I have and um, you're so many things all wrapped up in one and God said it was going to be the best experience of my life and yeah it's been true it has been and I know we've only scratched the surface and I'm looking forward to the rest of our lives together thank you I love you, thank you. Thank you.
I don't be crying, I will not cry. <clears throat> I'm glad that father to my daughter and children to come. And even when you're like, <laughs> you still actually do take correction. Mm. And I see it. And you make a lot of changes to make sure that this works. So I love marriage because it has you in it.